Hi everyone, I'm Tiffany Young and I'm here at CES and I just met Scott and he created this glove that's going to revolutionize people that struggle with movement in their hands. Is that right? Yeah, it is right. It created all together as a team. That's <laughs> amazing and you guys won an award as well, right? Yeah, we've award, we, yeah, we've got like CES Innovation Awards like a couple times. That's amazing, congratulations. Thank you. Tell me more about this glove. I'm wearing it right now. It's very comfortable. Sure. Rapio Smart Glove is basically a home rehabilitation device that stroke survivors can use like for their rehab journey in the comfort of home. And this Smart Glove is a wearable device that can be connected to a tablet through the uh, Bluetooth. And then once you uh, like open the app, our Rapio app on your tablet, then it has the uh, more than 45, like more than 45 game contents. So you actually feel like playing game, but at the same time you're going through the uh, clinically proven rehab process for your rehab journey. Wow, that's amazing. And um, tell me more about what inspired you to create this product. Yeah, uh, I was at business school and met a friend of mine whose father died of stroke. So he was very emotionally attached to the uh, issue. And we also had a friend like who had an engineering background, and I was also born with spina bifida. It's type of the uh, disability on your back, so I've gone through surgery and I had fair share of rehab growing up in South Korea. So I thought rehab can be always better, and it can be you know it can come with the numbers, it can be measurable, it can be a little bit more engaging. So three of us we thought it makes sense to come up with something, so we did it. That's so inspiring that you used your own uh, personal story to create something that's going to help a lot of people. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, that's so wonderful. So, um, and you said that this is specializing in kids too. Like, there's a lot of games that were I didn't know that a lot of kids struggled with um, hand paralysis. Yeah, I mean, I'm also a father of two, and then it's really heartbreaking. Like, you step into hospital, and there's a lot of children's hospital, then like some kids are just like three and four and they've gone through a stroke already and there's not a lot of options for them to do and also when you're I mean when, when, when they're kids like the uh, attention span is like short so it's gotta be like something you know fun and engaging so we thought like it makes great sense like to come up with a device for like spe specializing in like kids stroke rehab too so this is the kid version. It's very small. Yeah, it's very. Yeah, probably around the age up to like ten, they can still like yeah use it. Yeah. And the cool thing about this is all of these have sensors. So these sensors are tracking my progress in, in my recovery. If I was recovering, and my strength, it's so it's letting me know how much strength I'm gaining in each finger and in each exercise, right? Yeah, yeah, it's actually all about range of motion. Okay. So this device has the uh, like nine axis sensor here, so it recognizes like, all your wrist motion. And these are like actually these have the uh, bending sensors in it, so it it reads all the uh, motion like you know uh -huh. triggered by the uh, your fingers. Right. So there was an exercise on one of the games where I was uh, squeezing an imaginary uh, orange into a glass, and it was having me hold that and then testing my range of motion that was interesting and then different things that normally I guess people would do in physical therapy but now they can do it at home yeah so like a lot of contents that we have are like very like simulating to the uh, like day-to-day -day activities and also what's very important is when it comes to stroke recovery and rehabilitation re repetition is the key and repetition makes it perfect and we make the repetition more engaging and measurable. Because like think about like you know like this action. You know, you're you're told by the hospital, like you know, like doctors or therapists that like, yeah, like go home and like bring this, you know, take this rubber ball and squeeze it fifty times a day. And number one, like it's hard to keep counting. Number two, it's not the most exciting work. So instead of that, like we actually have the uh, like squeeze your range and like play catch ball and so it's, it's it's more fun and also like using the software 
it actually tells you like how many repetitions you did and then how much progress you're making over a certain time. So it can be uh, a lot more beneficial and valuable, both for patients and then clinicians. Oh, this is so great. Thank you so much for talking to us about this. And where can we find out more information about it? And how can we get our hands on it? Yeah, visit our website, www.neofect, N-E-O-F-E-C-T, neofect.com. Okay. Yeah. okay, sounds good. Thank you so much. Are you guys on social media too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're on Facebook. And then we actually have the uh, in-house occupational therapist who can actually consult with the uh, customers. So they can chat with our in-house clinicians through the uh, Facebook chatting or they can literally just like call us and then we can schedule like quick consultation with them. Oh, that's awesome. Thank okay. You. Well, thank you so much. We're excited for you and congratulations again on your award. Thanks for having me. Okay. Thank you. Tiffany Young for ID8 TV.